I don't really remember the day I've seen my grading station. I have been traveling for so long now, looking for the ultimate answer on grading day for night. I know I can use my day for night lot in my colors companion pack, but what if I don't want to? Let's go back home. Warning my community on my discoveries. Hi guys. <laughs> Today is a subject that is very interesting. Like you all, I went to see Dune 2 in the cinema and when I exited, I was feeling that I was lacking this scene that I seen in Dune part 1 where it was, you know, this kind of day for night that was so strange because it wasn't like a true day for night, it was like a dawn for night and I was craving this kind of scene, you know, in Dune part 2 but I don't think I've seen it that much so today I just want to recreate this day for night that I seen in Dune part 1 <laughs> This video is the episode 3 as follow my day as a colorist. We are going to take the footage that I've used in the Riot Game project that I've presented to you. And in this Riot Game project, I had to create a day for night that was inspired by Dune. Let's jump right into the tutorial. Okay, here we are in the timeline and my project is set as usual as DaVinci YRGB Color Manage. So my footage right now is in a S-Log3 space. We want to interpret it in a DaVinci Y Gamut Intermediate uh, 2 output in Rex 709 Gamma 2.4. So as I said in the intro guys, I have a lot in my colorist companion pack that is a day for night lot that normally I use because it will avoid me a lot of work to create a day for night but today I will show you like all the steps to uh, create a day for night and create a day for night that is inspired by Dune. So for this uh, we will need an image as a reference. So I already imported reference image from Dune part 1 where I have a close-up uh, that is actually pretty good and that would really suit my scene. I also put it in my timeline where I can actually just like split and have my footage next to my reference. So let's analyze a bit what's going on in the image. What is interesting with Dune part one uh, for the dawn for night scene or the day for night scene is that instead of having a very blue night, which most of the time the day for night are, we have a night that is a bit more going towards cyan and it's very interesting i find because then it gives a real character to the image so we're gonna recreate this look together so to recreate this look we will need a base so for this i will use the dehancer plugin where i can couple a film emulation and a film print together so i will have a very great base to start because Dune is using a film emulation to interpret its footages. Okay, so I will go to my effects and I will try to find my dehancer. Um, I haven't updated, so I use the old plugin. I'm not an example, guys, but I feel very comfortable with the 6.3.0. So I use the 6.3.0. Um, so input, uh, I will put my source as DaVinci White Gamut because we are in DaVinci White Gamut. And for film, I will uh, choose the Kodak Vision 3 50D because I find that the 50D is putting the image somewhere I would like actually to have, you know, like the beginning of the contrast for this day for night. Uh, I find it very good. After, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my uh, Kodak Andura glossy paper. We start to have something filmic that is coming out of the image. Maybe in terms of tonal contrast, I find it a bit too contrasty in terms of print itself. So I'm just gonna uh, go uh, minus maybe a minus three something like this just like to keep the face 
crop. In terms of grain, uh, what I'm gonna do is just like reduce the amount and uh, reduce the amount of grain in the shadows and in the mid tones just like to have something a bit more uh, clean yeah something like this so after we applied our dehancer node uh, we're gonna create uh, nodes before it to initiate our balance and our contrast i'm gonna create a node before it and i'm gonna create a parallel node and this one i'm gonna start by calling it curves so this one we're gonna start it uh, straight away uh, this will be the node that is used to nail our contrast and our brightness so our objective in this node is to make our image look as much as possible in terms of contrast and brightness as the reference image i'm just gonna put these two next to each other and uh, i'm gonna pull out my curves so i think you can do it with live gamma again but I will prefer my curves because I have a full control on it. I'm just gonna go down with my highest point to have something that is almost the same. So um, I'm referring to my reference on this scope in my waveform and this is my image so the one that I'm manipulating. So I'm gonna try to be somewhere around my other image and i need to bring back my subject so for this i'm just going to create points then all over the curves i'm accelerating for a bit because otherwise it's very long the points that i create to the right is for the background and to the left is for the face something like this so um here we went a long way, so this was before and this is after. Uh, we have our sky that is softer, uh, we have also our character that is darker, but at the same time we still keep uh, the light on his face. We are in a very good base to do our day for night. What I like to do is go to my balance. I'm just gonna go in my color wheels, just the offset, and I will go down with my offset just to have it in the nice spot. If you see, uh, that was before I've done my offset, and this is after. Um, to recreate the finesse of the light and the shadows, I'm just going to create a node before my balance called HDR and in is this HDR node I'm going to use my HDR wheels and for this I'm going to change the menu I'm going to go to the three dots and go to gamma and go to a uh, linear so I'm going to change color space just like because I prefer to work in a linear gamma uh, as my lights are responding a bit more natural in this space. I'm going to play with my shadows and see what's going on. I'm accelerating because I'm looking for my shadow and I stop at minus 25. To bring him up. What I also want to do is actually maybe removing uh, the highlights because there is cloud in the sky and I really don't want our attention to go towards the clouds so I will go down with my highlights to see what it does and um, I think it's muting a bit too much so uh, I'm just gonna go towards maybe um, minus, minus 13 and I think for me minus 13 is a, is a healthy amount so now that we've done all the contrast and brightness we can go to something that is for the colors so for the colors i'm going to use also my curves but in a different way so i'm going to call this node hues and i'm going to use my curves in separating my yrgb channel so it's useful because then i can control the amount of red, the amount of green and the, the amount of blue in my image and I find that I have more control uh, on my curves than if I do it uh, on my color wheels for example. 
I will go to a point in my image and just click somewhere and uh, I'm just gonna create another point and remove some red so my objective here is actually so I'm accelerating a bit more here too uh, if you see on my curve I'm trying to separate my red my green and my blue uh, to affect my character and so I realized that actually I needed to um, narrow down my selection so I will bring back uh, towards the left my points so then I can just select his face so if you see his face is way greener than the background and after I will affect the background uh, by actually putting the points a bit further than my left point so I will put it uh, more towards the right side and it will affect the background and I just repeat what I've done I'm just trying by feeling seeing how I can reach the color of the reference and if you see it's quite easy and you have a lot of control with this but I'm, I'm gonna keep it like this because I want to still have like a very natural skin tone because even though the grade is pretty intense on her, she still keep this very natural skin tone. Right now, like um, I find the dune a bit too warm and his skin a bit too warm. So we're just gonna readjust this. To readjust this, I'm just gonna create a node after my hues and I'm just gonna pull up my color wrapper. No need. I don't think I need to have more than six uh, hue resolution. I think I can stay like this. And I'm just gonna take my yellow and go towards um, something that is a bit more um, green and desaturated because that was actually uh, pretty saturated. To have something a bit more similar with my reference okay something a bit more similar but still a separation between uh, the sky and the dune for the sky i feel that maybe i can make it a bit more cyan because uh, her, the sky on her side is a bit more cyan so there's a bit more separation between her and the sky and so for his skin right um i think maybe i'm just gonna if i desaturate maybe i think it can work if i desaturate a bit and yeah it works it works okay so we have something a bit more natural going on and right now we are we are pretty close actually guys what i just want to do is just bring up his face a tiny bit because if you see in terms of lighting of course it's not the same but here i have a more distinct face than what he has so i just want to bring up his face here uh, so to bring up his face i'm just gonna go to my power windows and i'm gonna select my power window my circle here and uh, i'm just gonna create the power window around his face to light up his face uh, i'm just gonna recreate uh, what we've done in the hdr select my hdr wheels and go into my menu go into my gamma go into my linear and uh, raise up my light over here so i'm just gonna raise up my light and if you see when i raise up my light i can see his face so i'm just gonna go uh, towards something like 0 10 where it's actually pretty natural and uh, if we compare here is pretty lit actually it's pretty lit um, then I feel that when I have these two together maybe it's too lit but don't worry uh, we're gonna uh, just create also an overlay node at the end just to have a bit more filmic feeling and my overlay node will go after my film node and this one will be overlay and I'm just gonna right click and go to composite mode 
and go to overlay. If you've seen my overlay video, like my density trick, this is completely normal. After what I want to do is going to the node key and going to the key output and decrease to something like maybe, I would say something like 18%, 18%, yeah. So when I pull out my reference, and eh, we are pretty close actually. We are pretty close, we are pretty close. And I feel that actually the overlay really helped a lot. It really helped a lot. The problem is that maybe I need to raise his face a tiny bit more. And uh, I think after we are done. So I come back to my vignette and um, I will go to my light. And instead of 10, maybe I can go to 15. All right, let's go to 20 and see what's going on. And yeah, this is it. I think this is it, guys. Yeah, we have it. So see, guys, we went a long way. We went from this uh, that was shot during the day to this that is actually uh, our day for night that is inspired by June part one. And I feel that the result is so cool. I really love it. Um, this is actually what we've done for the Riot Game project that I've worked on. I really like it. Uh, so if you see for day for night, actually what is the most important is to achieve to uh, control your curves over here. So there is no real hard science. You have to do it by feeling. But when you get it, you get it. These curves made the most for me to achieve my look. It was so easy actually to arrive to this result. I hope it helped guys. I, I really hope it helped for your day for night and that it will inspire you to make uh, other day for night that are not too bluish because I find that all the day for nights that are presented on YouTube are the classic <laughs> blue nights. Whereas I find that in Dune, what is very interesting is to have this very daring look of the cyan night, uh, this almost actually this day for night that looks like dawn uh, so yes i really loved it and i really love to present it to you guys don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel if you want more tips and i will see you next time guys see you